Hey guys, Ponder checking in once again from the Garage Gym. A few weeks ago I posted a video explaining that um, I was out of commission from making videos. Um, but I wasn't out of commission from working out by an injury I called uh, piriformis syndrome. It's pretty much um, a, a form of sciatica, also known as a, a false sciatica. And uh, I kind of wanted to give you guys a quick explanation of what I did every day for eight months, almost nine months. I, I still have some pain, but every day for about nine months now, um, in order for me to get back into workout shape, in order for me to alleviate a lot of the pains that I've been dealing with. Um, so let's get right to it. Uh, first of all, uh, everything, every workout started with a form of kettlebell swing, whether it be Russian swing or American swing, you know, whether it be up to your waist or overhead. Uh, I felt that the kettlebell swing uh, primed the muscle of the piriformis of the deep glutes um, and uh, you know pretty much fired all the muscles the hip flexors um, in order for me to get everything warm it alleviated a lot of the tension a lot of the pain found um, on the sciatic nerve and I always did about you know three to five sets uh, six to eight reps and um, I did this religiously one of the most important things also to note is that um, if you uh, were able to buy some sort of hip circle, the one I have here is the red hip circle from Mark Bell. Um, it's been extremely helpful, you know, doing duck walks, back-to-back -back walks, squats also. Um, it's not only helpful in piriformis issues, but it also helps with um, warming up the hips before squats. Uh, I also did a lot of unilateral work, unilateral lunges. And wave squats. I've noticed wave squats was definitely helpful in alleviating pain. I did a lot of these stretches, a lot of these workouts before my work day. Um, I usually go into work at 7 and I would work, I would wake up at 4.30 and I would get this work done um, in order for me to suffer through a 12 hour shift at work. Um, you know, there's a lot of stretches online. As you can see here, I'm doing um, a piriformis stretch. That's the basic stretch you'll see. It's kind of putting your ankle on your other knee. And then uh, with your knee in a figure four position, just pulling the knee towards your, your torso, your upper torso. Um, I also did that. And then I did the, the mobility ball, the uh, supernova ball. Uh, or you could use a golf ball or baseball, tennis ball even. I, uh, I was known to take a tennis ball to work more often than not and just kind of, you know, bust it out in the wall or in the chair. Um, there's a lot of different stretches also that I like to employ. The pigeon stretch, as you can see here, as well as the, uh, the Samson stretch. I felt like opening my hips in conjunction with warming it up uh, by doing squats, lunges, um, kettlebell swings and all that was very important. Um, one of the biggest issues for me uh, during my piriformis injury is how tight my hamstrings got. Um, it was pretty much almost impossible for me to reach down and touch my toes for almost for half a year and you know you really have to you know suffer through the pain for the most part and try to really stretch out your hamstrings. Foam rolling is also very helpful in um, loosening up the muscles of the hamstrings. Um, you know the iliotibial band and the, uh, the side glute and things like that. Foam rolling um, and uh, I've noticed trigger point therapy isn't the best option when you first start dealing with the injury because I felt like it really just makes the injury so much more painful and flares it out. Um, a lot of my days do start with me pretty much doing cardio. Um, I noticed that cardio, uh, I, I, I have an elliptical in my house so I, I do a lot of elliptical work and the elliptical seems to kind of loosen the tightness of the piriformis uh, issue, piriformis syndrome. Um, also, you know, it's very important to focus on hydration and um, a lot of, I felt like a B vitamins um, and uh, overall nutrition in general, but B vitamins definitely help in the recovery process. Um, the most important medication was obviously ibuprofen. Um, if I didn't take it, you know, I, I had to take it on a schedule. In the beginning, I was taking 800 milligrams several times a day, but, you know, I was able to taper it down to 400. Um, uh, with like three times a day and now I don't take any if at all. Um, pretty much this is what I did for my uh, pre-workout warm-up regimen. You know, you got to do your bands, uh, your, your monster walks, your duck walks, your kettlebell swings, your wave squats, uh, unilateral training. 
uh, definitely do a lot of cardio and um, do a lot of static stretches, uh, but, you know, slowly employ trigger point therapy down the line because I feel like that really just makes the pain a little bit worse, you know. So that's pretty much it for my tips in terms of uh, my piriformis uh, syndrome injury. Uh, I wanted to just give you guys a quick workout video. Also, um, you know, you really have to focus on a leg day. Leg day is very important. You got to strengthen it. Um, I've read reports online where people did a lot of, uh, you know, what, what all they did was pretty much just stay away from the weights from days, weeks, months, um, or all together. And I feel like in my, in my current, my personal situation, uh, my situation might be different, uh, than yours or, you know, people, you know, always consult a doctor, chiropractor, physical therapist first. Um, in my personal situation, I felt like strength training was the number one, um, factor for me to you know get better in my previous video I mentioned that um, I travel I mean what's it called I decided to do a marathon uh, you know I haphazardly increased my my running times my running distance without my acclimating my muscle for it my muscles were used to lifting my muscles were used to deadlifting squatting uh, they were used to weightlifting but they weren't used to running long distances running hills uh, the impact of it so um, my, my, my thesis on how I developed piriformis injury was the fact that I did something so drastic that my body wasn't um, acclimated or ready for it. Um, a lot of people develop it by doing squats, a lot of people do it, develop it by um, driving long distances or sitting long periods of time doing lots of travel. It's a very weird injury in the fact that no one really knows exactly what causes it and what, why the actual muscle itself stays so tense for such a long period of time and, you know, strangles that sciatic nerve. But it's, it's, um, it's definitely something that the recovery process is going to be different for every single person. For me personally, you know, uh, I'm still dealing with it. Um, but it didn't really change my, uh, my point of view in life and training. Um, if anything, I learned a lot more from it and I think I'm a better, I'm going to be a better athlete, uh, because of it. Um, anyways, uh, moving forward in terms of my piriformis injury, piriformis syndrome, there's still a little bit of uh, numbness pain. Interestingly, I'm getting calf cramps, uh, periodically on the, on the side that's affected. Um, but you know, you just got to deal with it. Um, I still have a lot of trouble, um, bending down and to touch my toes and, um, definitely a lot of pain when I wear a belt, uh, abdominal compression and hip flexion seems to be an issue for me at this time, but you know, I'm, I'm going to keep on my, my weight training, um, do what I can work around it, um, and definitely try to avoid, um, re-injuring the muscle. Nowadays, I spend uh, twice the time stretching and um, compared to, you know, one time the weightlifting. So two to one ratio. I stretch twice. I stretch in the morning and I stretch after. Before, I just kind of weightlifted. Before, I just kind of ran. And then afterwards, I would just go ahead and uh, rest. Pretty much, I rolled my body. I treated my body like, you know, like a horse. It's like you ride the horse hard and you put it away wet. Um, it's definitely not something you want to do for long periods of time. Um, an injury um, definitely teaches you a lot of things. And for me, the piriformis syndrome that I've dealt with, that I'm dealing with, it's definitely a lesson, you know what I mean? Um, it's only a loss if you don't learn anything from it. So, you know, my heart goes out to you guys, anybody that's dealing with this. Um, it's not the end of the world. I know I felt like it would never end. Um, if you guys have any questions about it, you know, I'm here, I'm all ears. Please leave me a question in the comment section below. Um, I'll be making more videos about it, my thoughts about it, and uh, probably a more in-depth stretching video down the line. And what I did every morning and what I did at work to alleviate the pain. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please do like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out. Lift something heavy.